Excellent question. So what is a rebound earthquake? Well, let me add another word in there. The word is isostatic. So we have an isostatic rebound earthquake, and this is what you get in the state of Illinois. <clears throat> See, Illinois is a basin. So you got the outer edges of Illinois, and it comes down into a shape like this. And when I lived in Decatur, Illinois, the that was actually near the deepest part of the Illinois basin. It's all filled up with sediment, though. That's why it's all flat. But anyhow, during the last ice age, when the ice sheets advanced as far south as Illinois, the ice was thick. You're talking about, you know, over a kilometer thick of ice. And that ice was pushing down on the continental crust. And see, the upper mantle is uh, semi-malleable. So in other words, it can flow a little bit. Not doesn't flow very well, but it's like, like uh, how if I pound on metal, the metal will split, uh, spread out from the pounding. Kind of the same way with the upper mantle. So that very thick mass of ice pressed down on the continental crust, down into the semi-permeable, not permeable, semi-malleable part of the uh, upper mantle. Well, since it's not like water and ice where you just put it down and just boom, comes back up right away, it takes time and it's trying to come back up. And as the strain increases, as it's trying to come back up, eventually that strain becomes great enough that the rock fractures and it pops up a little bit. And you're not talking about a lot of up movement, just a little bit, but you get a massive release of energy at certain fault lines whenever the, the crust pops back up a little bit. So you will get more uh, earthquakes like that in the future in Illinois, but they're called isostatic rebound earthquakes because it's the continental crust rebounding out of the mantle after it's pressed down by uh, the massive ice sheets from the previous ice age.